Hi, it's Tammy Ball here. I want to give a shout out to the Aston University Foundation degree students in the class called Interpersonal Skills and Customer Service in the Workplace. Today we're going to talk a little bit about presentation skills. This afternoon's lecture I'll spend a lot of time on presentation skills, but I wanted to make a point by doing a little video and talking through some of my favorite tips to give you. I imagine most of you are very um, scared, frightened, have, have some not happy feelings about needing to give a 10 minute presentation in three weeks. And I want you to know that's extremely common and uh, most people in the room will feel the same as you do. There may be a couple of you who are okay with it and it's not a big deal and, and um, that's common too. Things like this come pretty naturally to me, but I have to admit that I get uh, that little feeling of nerves every once in a while when I'm, when I'm preparing to do this. So I wanted to pass along some of my favorite pointers and tips to help you start preparing. Now, I've said the word prepare a couple of times because that is the most important aspect of, of uh, a presentation, other than the content, of course. You'll, I'll talk a lot today in class about the content, so, so we'll cover that fully. But I wanted to talk about presentation skills on this little video. We, um, we, we sometimes worry before giving a presentation what others are going to think of us. That's one of the most common complaints. I might mess up, I might stutter, I might just totally lose my train of thought, and then what will they think of me? Well, my, my, I feel that way as well. And I believe that the more prepared you are, the less that you'll worry about what they think of you. Because um, preparation is, I, I, can't, I don't know if I've got good words to express how important or how critical it is. I prepare before I do lecturing for you guys. And I've done speaking for years and years. But I'm not so good that I can just stand up and the words just flow beautifully out of my mouth. So I have to do the following steps. So here's, here's the first one. You must write down what you're going to say, especially if you're not accustomed to, to speaking at all. It's a good idea to make an outline with the beginning, middle, and end, and I'll discuss that in class today. And then I write a script. Now, I don't script out every word I'm going to say. In the past, I have. But for a 10 minute presentation, it's not going to be too difficult to prepare a script, so you might want to consider doing that. I especially script out my segue points, because that's when I get frustrated, flustered, and stuttery. It's when I don't really know how I'm going to flow from one point to the next. So I script those out. Now if you're going to use a PowerPoint presentation, it's fine. Just be sure to bring it on a memory stick. And sometimes those will help you to segue your, your spacing. Um, I don't like PowerPoints, and I'll talk to you about that in class today, but, but it is our culture, and we are sort of forced to use them and expect it, and, and I'd like to be the person to change that. So I'm going to show you in a little while one of the presentations I've done in the past using almost all pictures very few words and it's been very effective. But I don't expect that. You may bring your PowerPoints and they will support you in your point making. The next thing I do is take my outline and my scripting and I practice. I stand up in front of a room, an empty room. You, you can practice in front of people if you trust them. But I stand up in front of an empty room and I visualize all of your faces. Now that I've seen you a few times I can actually get a picture of what you look like and where you'll be sitting in the room because you all sort of sit in the same places and you've been going to class with each other for a couple of years so you should be able to visualize each other as well. And I go through the talk. Ten minutes is nothing. I would practice it and talk through it. You're going to find that writing things on paper uh, is, is much different from standing up and saying those points. So you may even change some of your scripting, some of your outline after you practice. The next thing I do, and many of you won't want to do this, but it might help some of you, I stand in front of the mirror and do it as well. So I do it in front of an empty room and visualize the, fa visualize the faces, and I also stand in front of the mirror. What that does is distract me. I mean, it's distracting to stand and look at yourself and talk to yourself. 
you will get distracted when you're up in front of a room speaking. So it is good practice to sort of focus yourself on your train of thought while you're looking at someone, even if it's yourself. So a mirror is, is something I always recommend. Um, now the third point, and this is what you're seeing, is um, you might want to consider videotaping yourself giving the discussion. Or even just the introduction or, or parts of it. And with today's technology, you can do it on your iPhone and no one has to see it, right? You can just hold it out there and, and sort of give your discussion your, your first points and then play it back. You'll get lots of good indication about yourself when you do that. Some won't be good. Uh, I hate listening to my voice recorded. Um, so I'll be sitting there with you in class right now watching this and cringing at this sort of nasally, really, really Oklahoma twang that I seem to have. And I'm proud of Oklahoma. And uh, I'll talk about that today because this is the week of the tornado, so I want to talk about that with you if you don't mind. But I, it is a good idea to, to listen to yourself, and you'll hear all your ums, and I know I make them. But I make so many, many less ums than I used to. So video your t yourself. You don't have to put it up on YouTube or show anybody. You can delete it immediately, but I think that's a good idea. So those are, those are my three practice points, and we'll talk a lot more today about content and structure and order and, and uh, just a lot of interesting things about knowing your audience. So thanks for listening, and let's get busy. Bye.